Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to benchmark your system for free with the Shadow of the Tomb Raider trial. Very few people know that the demo or trial version of Shadow of the Tomb Raider has an implemented benchmark. Simply go to your Steam, then open the store and search for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You can select the definitive edition and if you scroll down a little bit you can see the download Shadow of the Tomb Raider trial. Simply download it, it's about 15 GB. When it's done you can launch it. Continue when it comes to the privacy notice, then go to options and then go to display and graphics. When it comes to preset I'd recommend to use the highest to be able to compare your system with other systems obviously. 1080p and highest is one of the standard settings, 1440p and highest is another very popular setting. If you're done with that or anything else you want to adjust simply click run benchmark. If you click it it will start the benchmark. Please note that I have sped up the scenes to save a little bit of time within this video. You can see that those are pre-rendered scenes and that you have an FPS counter at the top left corner. After the benchmarks are done, you will get an overview. Please note that the additional scenes you would see when you run the benchmark are now put on the left hand side by me and the results are now shown on the right. Take into consideration that those results have been produced while recording this benchmark and that they are usually a bit higher than that. What's important for you now? You see that you have frames rendered and average FPS. In my case it's 11,517 frames rendered and an average FPS of 74 while recording. You can also see the game version, the Windows build, the CPU and the GPU model. So you can see that I'm rocking a i7-4790K with a GTX 1080. Also shown are the video driver, the system memory, the video memory and the GPU bound. Interesting, what is the GPU bound? The GPU bound shows in percent how often your GPU is the bottleneck. In my case it's 32% while recording, while not recording it's 27% because I'm recording with Nvidia Shadowplay. The graphs on the left hand side, especially the lower one shows you that the GPU is most of the time beneath the CPU. So that is consistent with the GPU bound measure. Now let's get to the juicy part. You can see on the bottom right hand corner the small table that I've just highlighted. You can see the FPS, the min, the max, the average and the 95%. Min, max and average are obviously minimum, maximum and average FPS. That is also split up for CPU game, CPU render and GPU. Usually you want to report all of them. The 95% means that 95% of all frames rendered have been faster than 61 in my case on the CPU game, on the GPU it's 81. If you want to compare your results online you simply can go to Google, type in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, benchmark results comparison and check various discussion boards, for instance Reddit, you can also look on Tech Power Up or even on Steam itself. We hope this video helped you, if you like what you see and saw please subscribe to the channel to help us out and leave a comment down below with your scores. We'll see you in the next one.